All right, so that's about the uh, uh, relational overriding, which will be very useful pattern to actually say uh, for action. Okay, let me now go back to my remote lab over here. Okay, just wake up. All right, let's now try to specify. Well, we first of all want to specify the parameters, right? Go to the withdraw events over here, right click, and then you want to say at event parameters over here. That's the first option here, right? So parameter one, parameter two. So we need two. One is uh, one is you want to uh, say which account to really uh, withdraw. So that'll be A over here, all right? And then we want to add another parameter. Uh, let me just say account. Account to withdraw the comments. It's always good to actually put comments like uh, when you do the programming. And similarly, we only declare the name of a parameter, but we need a type. So that means we need to, need to add a constraint at the event level. We'll do that in just a moment, okay? We need a second parameter. To uh, what amount would you like to withdraw? Right click on the withdraw, and then we're gonna say add event parameter, just add another one. All right, let's say this one will be the amount. And let me say the V for the value. Okay, so that'll be here, the value to withdraw over here and save. Of course, now we got two errors because uh, both A and also V, uh, both of them do, do not have types. So we're gonna add typing constraint over here. So go back to the event over here uh, for the withdraw. And let's now right click and then we want to add uh, some guard over here. The way to specify additional constraints on the variables that you declare as event parameter is by uh, specifying the guard. Okay, let's add a guard over here. Okay, over here, the guard number one. So this will be about the type for the uh, account. We can say A should be colon a member of, A should be account, agree? Over here. And then, oh, actually, that should be a label, I beg your pardon. So this will be the math. You can say control X to cut it, but we should put a label first. The label should be, uh, let's say this will be the type. Type underscore of A, right? And then let's put the uh, actual predicate over here, right? You can, by default, it's simply just true. Remember, this mathematical symbol for true. You can control V to paste it, or you can just type it out from scratch again. And this is something we assume, so that should not be a theorem. We don't want to prove it, all right? So if you save it, you will see that the error for A over here actually goes away. Doesn't really reflect on the uh, IDE just yet, but you can see the list of errors re uh, is reduced to one. Let's do another uh, guard. So you can go back to the withdraw events and then right click, add a guard over here. And over here, let's put a label first. So we can see, or you can simply put GRD1 or GRD2. You can just let uh, Rodent keep track for you. That's also fine, okay? But let me just put some label just to show you. You can definitely modify it if you wish. Type of V over here. Okay, and then what should be the predicate over here? What should be the type for some value to withdraw? Well, we can definitely try to be a little more careful here. If you only put Z over here, the integer. So that means you can withdraw minus a million from the bank. Wouldn't that be nice? If you know such a bank, please let me know. You you definitely cannot withdraw minus million. So we want to make sure whatever amount you actually try to withdraw should be positive. Why don't we do that? So over here, you can just say net one, and space, right? That's uh, something about the type, all right? You can definitely put, uh, you can def, oh, sorry, I forgot to put a membership, back upon it, V, Call it member of, right? I only put the uh, M1, uh, net one alone. That's not good, right? Let's now here, we can put some, uh, you can put some comments over here if you like. So you can say typing constraint of event parameter A. Let me copy this entire comments over here, control C, and then go to the comment part for the second parameter, paste it. So that'll be the typing constraint for parameter uh, V over here. Enter, control space, uh, control S. All right, Every, everything's good. And then uh, I think it's okay. Well, if you still got this out of sync problem over here, I would suggest we close bank zero over here and open it again. Then you will see that everything's good.
All right, everything's good over here. We got the two parameters, A and V, and now what, what about the, uh, also we got two guards over here. There might be some additional guards that we have to specify. I'll leave that as exercise for you as I, I, as I talk about later, but let's now put the actions, right? Basically, we want to update both variables over here ac accordingly, right? Apparently for the uh, balance, we're gonna use the relational operator, uh, the relational overriding, which I explained earlier in detail. And for the catch drawer, we just have to make sure catch drawer got decremented whenever we withdraw. If you got deposit, you gotta increment the cash drawer, right? That's how we keep track of the total money uh, in the bank. All right, let's now put some action. So now for the withdraw over here, you can definitely actually say uh, add action over here. There are two actions we need. The first one is to really update uh, the balance, right? And as I said before, you can type, you can refer to the notes, B, and then we want to change A account. You can see A over here is corresponding to the A, the input account over here, specifically. That one should be assigned or substituted, call it equal to the new value, which will be whatever the current value is for A, which will be B, applied to A, the functional application, minus the value of V, right? That's what we need, okay? Control S to save it, okay? And then I'm not sure why it suddenly become extended. It should not be extended. If you click on that, it's not extended ordinary, right? I'm not sure why it's changed anyway. So just make sure, since we don't talk about refinements, make sure it's not extended ordinary, not extended, all right? We just need another action to, uh, so this one, you can put a comments over here updates the balance of A. Okay, safe. One more action. And then under the withdraw, you can now right click and say add another action over here, right? So hopefully until now, you have some better feeling about the rodent tool. It's uh, not, maybe not exactly the most convenient or exciting tool you can expect, but remember, it's actually for you to con construct a model, not really for programming. Right. So I think uh, once we know, we, as we go with uh, more case studies about formal methods and logic, you will really appreciate that we have such a tool for us to use to model and proof. All right. And let's update the drawer. So we're going to say D, the drawer will be substituted or assigned to D minus V. Very simple assignments or very simple substitution that you, you know already from the earlier course. And you can say updates D cache drawer okay enter control s as soon as we uh say control s over here notice that we actually got some proof obligations over here not proved right exactly right so why don't we try to take a look at them 